This is Huyen Note X10 and in today's video I will unbox this notebook, preview its packaging and show you how to set it up. So let's start. In the beginning we will obviously need to take this packaging foil off. I have this handy knife. Now I can cut this foil somewhere here for example and take it off. Next, we can open the box and see what comes inside. So, here is the Huyen notebook itself, right in front of your eyes. Let's peel this off as well. And that what it looks like. The exterior feels, well, decent. I wouldn't say that it's the best quality notebook I've had in my hands, but still it's quite decent. Has this uh, leather, like leather finish, should I say. Here is the pad for digital drawing. And here is the, well, here are the pages that you can write and draw on using the digital ink technology. Then you also get the, well, let's start from the top and take this thing. So as you can see from this graphics, this is the pen that what it looks like in its sleeve or in its uh, case also with this leather leather-like finish, should I say. So here's the pen, its nip, the cover. This little uh, sleeve should be, or not should, but you can put it right here. So it will stay, it magnets right in. Just keep in mind that this magnet is not really strong, so be careful. But well, that's a handy little thing to store them together in one place, you just magnet the pen sleeve right into the notebook itself. This I would assume are the uh, pins for the pen, the top part of it. Or, yep. Here are the pins, as well as the pin injector, the tool for injecting the pins. And different pins that are designed obviously for different purposes. Some of them you uh, use as the digital ink with the papers. Some of those pins, the plastic ones, you should use with the tablet cover, this one. What else do we have here? You also get the well, cable, the wire. And as far as I can see, that's about it. Let's see what the box tells us. So here's the notebook, here's the uh, well, tablet layer, should I say, the pen sleeve, the pen itself, uh, replacement pens for the pen, or nips, excuse me, nips for the pen, the nip injection tool, wire, and manual. So everything checks so far. Now, uh, after the unboxing, let me also show how to connect this device to your phone and use it with phone. So, in order to get the app for this Huyen notebook, you can either launch the Google Play Store on your phone and, well, just manually look for the Huyen application. Here it is, Huyen Note to be exact. Or you can also take the manual. Here you have this download QR code. And once scanned, you will be practically directed to the same Play Store app page. Yep, so as you can see, the app is installed. We can go ahead and launch it. Uh, don't pay attention to the fact that my um, 
or should I rather say that this fire is here since my notebook has been running out of battery so I had to put it to charging so just ignore this wire you won't need it it is not mandatory so here inside the app agree at the terms then in order to properly use it you will need to create your account uh, sign up for the Huyin note app uh, I've already did that, so I'll just simply need to log in in order to, well, do all of that. Tap at this icon here. Yes. And, well, either register if you don't have the Huyin account or enter your credentials, which I will quickly do off the camera. So I have entered my login and password successfully. Now, once again, once you're signed in, tap at this button here, or should I rather say icon, then grant the app with all um, necessary essential permissions. Then you have two pairing options. You can either pair it through Bluetooth or uh, scan this QR code. Uh, let me show you both. So once you are in the Bluetooth, enable your notebook by tapping at this function button here. Just, well, by default it will be switched off probably, so tap on it, it will appear here, and then connect. Connection went successful. Now let me also, let me also quickly show you how to pair them by this QR code. So once again, tap at this icon at the top right corner of your display, scan to connect, grant it with the camera permission, and scan this little QR code. So I've scanned it, or it actually automatically does that, just point your camera at it, and the connection went successful as well. Now, if you tap at this icon here, as you can see, you have the device management. So here is the amount of remaining battery and it also shows that I'm charging it currently. You have also, uh, you, you can also see the amount of uh, remaining memory. What else? You can encrypt your device, uh, enable or set up the offline synchronization, change hardware if needed. If you have multiple notebooks from Huyin, you can unbind the account from this particular device and update your firmware. Now, uh, let's start actually using it. So take your pen, make sure that the nib has the um, red color. That means that the nib is designed to work with this paper notes. Paper notes, yeah, a lot of notes in this video. Now let's create a new document or a new notebook. I'll just create a plain uh, vanilla white notebook just for the sake of convenience. And now we can start drawing. So here you actually have the uh, product introduction, some indicator light explanations and so on. Read them if you're interested. And here's the test page, which uh, we can draw on. Yep, you guys see everything just fine. And as you can see, once I draw here, it appears right over there. It obviously changes the line thickness in accordance with the pressure that I apply with this pen. So it works great. Uh, if you would like to uh, turn the page, just tap at the function button and as you can see, a new page will be created or you will turn to the next page if you've already uh, done that. Uh, well, let's draw some stuff here. For example, I'll um, write in the today's date, which is the 7th of May 24, 2024 to be exact. So 7, 0, 5, And as you can see, it appears right here as well. Very convenient. You can also do that on any page you wish. Obviously, if I were to uh, turn it, turn the page, I can also do everything here, as you can see. No problem. And so on. Uh, in accordance with the Huyin uh, guide or manual, once you will run out of available pages, you can either uh, order new notebook from them directly or you can use your own notebook that's also an option uh, just make sure that the thickness thickness of the paper that you use is less than 10 millimeters that's the important part um, when it comes to the app you also have the uh, eraser tool so i can erase stuff as you can see i'm erasing the text right now 
You also have the text tool. You also have this lasso to select stuff probably. You, also, uh, you can also upload images or photos to your... Uh, let me take a screenshot just to have a single photo to upload. You can also upload pictures, like the screenshot I just took, for example, and do all kinds of stuff. You can uh, add a picture to your notes directly from the camera, cancel actions like the regular functional that you'll find in any notebook app or any text uh, editing app in general. You can also add voice memos. As you can see, you can record a voice and add it to your notes as well. Very convenient and simple. And that will be more or less it uh, in terms of this working area or this working type. Next, I will show how to connect your um, notebook to the PC. And then I will also show how to use it as the uh, graphic tablet as well. So bear with me. Now let me quickly show how you can connect your Huion Note XN to the PC. So first order of business is to download the Huion software drivers and the app. So open your preferred web browser, then into the search bar you use input, simply input the Huion query. So once again, Huion, or you can just directly uh, type in the Huion.com to open their website. Here, go for the support. Then download center. Next, select the smart notebook, product series Huion Note, product name Huion Note. Yep, that's the device that we have precisely. Then select what uh, the driver for which platform you need to download. Obviously, if you if your PC or laptop runs Windows, go for this option. If you have the uh, MacBook or iMac, click here. Or if your system uh, of choice is Linux, go here. Go, go here. Very simple. Now let's get it downloaded. Then installed. Installation has been completed successfully. Now what you want to do is to uh, take the USB to Type C wire and connect your Huion Node XN to the PC by using this wire. So as you can see, there, is, uh, there are no devices currently. Uh, let me quickly show you my, well, camera feed. Here it is. So just take the Type C wire and plug it in and other end, obviously, plug into your computer or your PC. The desktop has been returned and as you can see, the Huion Note XN has been acknowledged by the app uh, successfully. Uh, you can go into settings here and, uh, well, download the firmware update or check whether your software is all up to date. And here you can, well, change the settings, uh, select which uh, area you will be working on. You can rotate it, do all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can also change the digital pen preferences. So game mode, mouse mode, etc. You can also go over here and adjust the pressure sensitivity like that. Change its preferences, properties, and so on. You can visit the Huion store also and do other kinds of stuff. Now, what you need to do in order to properly use the Huion notebook as your graphic tablet. Yep, so here are the replacement or uh, spare nibs. I want you to take the uh, nib ejector, should I call it, and replace the metal nib with the plastic one. So the way you uh, know which nib to use is that the red tips are designed for the paper book and the blue ones are designed for the graphic tablet mode. So that's what we should get. And while well, replacing nibs uh, is very, very easy, once again, as you can see, you have this little um, shape here. So use the shape to encompass the nib and take it out. Now take the cap of your plastic nib and simply put it in. So the pan is ready. Let's return the actual ink nib back here. Now, 
Now, what I want you to do is to take out the notebook, then, give me a sec here, uh, then take this little surface that you, that we have gotten in the box, At, underneath it, take out the protective layer, then glue it somewhere here, make sure that it is properly aligned, like that. And then also peel off the top film as well. Yeah, never mind, I've probably already peeled it off. Now, uh, once everything is set up and ready to be used, let me quickly return the PC feed. Uh, then let me open this Photopea app. Let's create a new uh, file here. Then we will select the brush and let's see how well it works. So, as you can see, I'm uh, moving the mouse with my pen and now I can draw here. So that's how you can use it as the graphic tablet. Very simple. And well, as far as this particular device goes, that will be more or less it. I've covered the basics. So should you have any further questions, do not hesitate to use the comment section below this video. But as for now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.